So amongst all the new Unity news, I'm still making tutorials for you all. So today we're going to use the texture atlas we made in the last video to texture our cube. So let's get into it. Okay, so start by creating a new material. This is going to be terrain. And where it, where it says albedo, just between the label and the square, there's like a little circle. And if you click that, you can select a texture. So I'll search for our texture atlas that we created in the last episode and set that to our albedo. And then in our chunk script, under materials, we'll drag in our new material there. Okay, very good. Now inside our scripts, first we need each block to have a unique ID that we can then get and do things with. So we're going to say, public int block id and in fact just above this we're going to say hide an inspector because we don't want to see it so we're going to set this up so that it sets them all and in fact we can actually just do it in our texture atlas packer we'll also say world dot all block data dot block id equals i and that should work all very well so now if we go back into the inspector and inside world we'll just repack our texture atlas that should be fine and that's going to set those up okay now inside our mesh generator we need to set the uvs in our apply meshes so we'll say chunk dot mesh filter dot mesh dot set uvs this is going to the channel is just going to be zero and uvs will be chunk dot uvs dot two array Okay, very good. And ah, oh, we don't have any UVs for our chunk, so inside our chunk scripts, we'll create a new list type vector2. This is going to be called UVs equals new list of type vector2. Very good. Now we can actually start adding textures so that we can set our UV. So we'll create a public static void add texture which will take in our chunk um, a channel that we actually want to um, so we'll say um, column the column of our texture atlas which will be 0 for our side textures 1 if it's our top and 2 if it's our bottom texture and finally that's it actually and then inside here we'll First need to get the UV, so we'll say float x UV equals column divided by um, texture at this packer dot um, and we actually need to create these so we'll say public static um, float normalized x equals 1 divided by 3 because there's 3 rows in our texture atlas and then we'll say public static float normalized y which will be in fact we'll set this inside our world since this will require our specific object of our world so we're actually going to change this where it says start we'll change that to awake which just basically just runs right before start and then after we set main to that, we'll say texture atlas packer dot normalized y equals one divided by all block data dot count. Okay, so now back inside our mesh generator, we'll say normalized x there, and for our y uv, we'll say something divided by a normalized y but what's this something going to be well it won't be column it's actually going to be the block id of one of our blocks but we don't know which block to use so inside chunk let's just create a temporary block that we're going to be displaying and in the future we'll do this in a data generator where we can generate all the data for our chunk but for now we'll just say temp block and then back in our mesh generator we'll say chunk dot temp block dot block id okay so now we've done that we can actually add some things to the list so we'll say 
chunk.uvs.add and this is going to take in a new vector 2 xuv plus texture atlas packer dot normalized x and then y uv and we'll copy this four times because there's four vertices in four vertices on our quad basically so the second one is going to be both of them we'll add so also so as well as adding to our x we'll add y but this is going to be normalized y make sure you change that then the third one we don't want an x but we do want the y to be normalized and then the final one we'll just have both of them x and y okay so this is really good if we but if you think about a cube on one side of the cube we want our texture to be flipped around otherwise that's just how things work that it sort of all wraps around in one line like a big arrow going around so we're going to actually have to add a ball flipped and we'll say if flipped then we'll do this one and otherwise well then we basically want to copy this but do stuff the other way around so we'll put that one on top and we'll put that one um second then we'll put that one third and that all looks very good so now we can delete those empty lines and just make sure that basically both of these are just a flipped version of each other and if they are that should work okay so now we just have to call this add texture function in our face generator so here we'll say add texture for our chunk and our column well for our bottom face we want to use the the cube's bottom texture, which, if I recall in our texture atlas, that's column two. So I say two, and then our the flipped. I do not want it to be flipped, so I say false. And do we actually do anything with our column? Yes, we do. Thank goodness. Then we need to call this a few more times. So in here for our top, for well, our top face, if we look back is one so we'll use this there and our top well either our top or our bottom probably sh no let's not flip any of those anyway then we have left which is going to use um d number zero because that's our side and we also won't flip it then for right we'll do zero again and this time, for the first time, we do want to flip it, so that's going to be true. Right, I'll copy and paste that. Okay, then in our back, we do do want to flip it, so we'll do true. And in our front, we do not want to flip it. Okay, so that should actually work. So now, if we go in back into here, and in our chunk, We'll have to see here it says temp block and it's none. If you just go to like this little circle thing at the side, you can pick a block. I'm going to do grass, and then if you run, then it did not work. Okay, so I found the issue. It's actually really simple. First of all, these divides in the add texture for the x, u, v, and y, u, v need to be multiplication. And finally, in our world, this one needs to be 1f, and also in our um, texture atlas pack packer, that also needs to be 1f. Okay, now if you go back in and play, you'll see it's all working, and we've got this lovely textured cube. Um, on the bottom, we should have the bottom texture, which is dirt, yep, and that's all good. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. The next one is about creating the first chunk, so we're going to turn it into lots of cubes, but until then, bye!